It's common knowledge that air is the fastest means of transport, but it's not quite true in France, where you have the world's fastest TGV network. With a maximum speed of 250 km per hour, this sleek machine rockets passengers across the country, connecting more than 50 cities. On board an institution in this country, and that's of course the TGV, uh, France's version of the bullet train. Even more fascinating, the TGV's story is packed with twists and turns, from its humble beginnings as a response to a foreign innovation to its role in revolutionizing travel. Join us in this video as we explore the world of France's high-speed hero. Imagine traveling from Paris to Marseille, over 700 kilometers in just three hours. That's the magic of the TGV, short for Train à Grande Vitesse, which translates to high-speed train. Such a journey would have taken a full day or more in the not-so-distant past. The evolution of train travel is nothing short of astounding. From the steam engines of the 19th century, chugging along at a leisurely 30 km per hour, to the sleek TGVs reaching speeds of up to 320 km per hour, we've come a long way. These advancements haven't just shaved hours off travel times and revolutionized how we experience travel. TGVs boast spacious interiors, comfortable seating, and often panoramic windows that make the journey scenic. While passing through the French countryside at breakneck speed, you can relax, catch up on work, or simply marvel at the passing landscape. Many people in France tend to prefer using train transport rather than airplanes. But we get it, no matter how fast they are, they can't possibly match an airplane's speed, but that may not be entirely true. How do TGVs stack up against airplanes, the traditional mode of long-distance travel? Now here's where things get even more enjoyable. TGVs can be a severe competitor to air travel for shorter distances between major French cities. Consider the time to get to the airport, security checks, and baggage claim. TGVs often depart from city center stations, eliminating the need for lengthy commutes. When you factor this in, the travel time between city centers by train and plane can be comparable, but it wasn't always like this. Way back in the early 90s, things were quite bad for the French when it came to train transport. This French high-speed train stands in stark contrast to the state of railways in the 1950s. This era witnessed a significant decline in train travel, a stark shift from the golden age of locomotives in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Several factors contributed to this downturn, such as pushing trains to the sidelines as a viable mode of long-distance transportation. One of the most significant reasons for the decline was the aging infrastructure. Decades of wear and tear took their toll on tracks, bridges, and signaling systems. Tracks became uneven, leading to slower speeds and a bumpy ride. Outdated signaling systems made it difficult to manage train traffic efficiently, causing delays and cancellations. This unreliability eroded passenger confidence in trains as a dependable travel option. Further exacerbating the issue was a lack of investment in rail technology. While the aviation industry saw significant advancements by introducing faster, more comfortable airplanes, the railway industry stagnated. There was a reluctance to invest in train research and development, leaving them technologically outdated compared to their airborne competitors. Perhaps the most impactful factor was the rise of commercial air travel. The post-war economic boom and technological advancements made airplanes faster, more convenient, and increasingly affordable. Air travel offered a smoother, quicker journey, particularly over long distances. This new mode of transportation captured the public's imagination, symbolizing modernity and progress. Compared to the increasingly sluggish and uncomfortable train experience, airplanes became the preferred choice for long-distance travel. The decline in trains in the 1950s had a ripple effect on the transportation landscape. Passenger ridership dropped significantly, leading to reduced revenue for railway companies. This, in turn, resulted in further cuts to maintenance and investment, creating a vicious cycle of decline. As we shall soon see, this would spark the innovation of a project that would change train transport. The 1960s saw a renewed interest in high-speed rail, sparked by the success of Japan's Shinkansen bullet train. Approved in 1959, the project had a seemingly impossible timeline. Completion within five years, just in time for the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. The goal? Achieving speeds exceeding 131 miles per hour is a revolutionary concept in rail travel. It was dubbed the Dream Super Limited Express. Ah! 
But the team at Japan National Railways wasn't deterred by the project's ambitious nature. They turned this futuristic dream into reality by launching the Series Zero Shinkansen trains, a testament to Japanese innovation, just nine days before the Olympic Games began. The Shinkansen's arrival marked a turning point in rail travel for Japan and the entire world. French engineers, determined not to be outdone, set out to design a train that would revolutionize travel within France. Their primary focus was sheer speed. They envisioned a train capable of exceeding 300 km per hour, significantly reducing travel times between major cities. Design of the TGV French engineers broke away from the traditional boxy design of trains. Inspired by the aerodynamic efficiency of sports cars, they created a sleek, low-profile TGV prototype, the TGV-001. This revolutionary design minimizes wind resistance, allowing for higher speeds. Additionally, the engineers contemplated using air cushion levitation to reduce friction and noise further, although this technology was eventually abandoned due to technical complexities. The initial plan for the TGV involved gas turbines, a standard technology for high-speed trains at the time. However, the 1973 oil crisis threw a wrench into these plans. With oil prices skyrocketing, gas turbines became an impractical and expensive option. In a stroke of genius, French engineers pivoted and redesigned the TGV to run on electricity. This shift proved to be a masterstroke. It addressed the fuel crisis and allowed the TGV to tap into France's abundant nuclear power supply, making it a more sustainable and cost-effective solution. The success of the TGV wasn't just about speed and power. A significant amount of effort went into creating a comfortable and passenger-centric experience. The articulated design, where individual train cars are permanently coupled, allowed for smooth, interconnected carriages. Additionally, the engineers focused on noise reduction through aerodynamic features and advanced wheel designs. The interiors were meticulously crafted for comfort and style, offering spacious seating, ample legroom, and large windows to maximize the view. The development of the TGV wasn't without its hurdles. Here are some of the hurdles it faced. Testing the train's high-speed capabilities pushed the boundaries of existing technology. Specialized tracks with gentle curves were built to handle the increased speeds. New braking systems were developed to ensure safe and controlled deceleration from such high velocities. The switch to electric traction required the creation of a dedicated high-voltage network to power the TGV along its route. The development of the TGV wasn't just the work of a few engineers. It was a collaborative effort involving a vast network of scientists, designers, manufacturers, and construction workers. Every aspect of the TGV required a blend of expertise and innovation, from developing the powerful electric motors to building the intricate signaling systems. In 1972, the prototype of the high-speed train became fully functional. This sleek machine, a culmination of years of research and development, reached 300 km per hour speeds during test runs. It was a testament to the vision of French engineers and a harbinger of the transportation revolution to come. Launch the year 1981 marked a turning point in French transportation history. The highly anticipated TGV service officially launched, connecting Paris to Lyon. It was a momentous occasion, symbolizing the culmination of years of dedicated effort by engineers and a renewed confidence in rail travel. The success was immediate. The TGV reached its millionth passenger within two months of operation, showcasing its immense appeal to travelers. The most significant impact of the TGV was the dramatic reduction in travel times between major cities. The journey from Paris to Lyon, which previously took several hours by conventional train, was now achievable in a fraction of the time. This made day trips and spontaneous weekend getaways a reality, opening up new possibilities for leisure travel and business commutes. Cities previously considered geographically distant were suddenly brought closer, fostering stronger regional connections. Several factors contributed to the TGV's success beyond its raw speed. We might say efficiency was a key element. The electric traction system proved a masterstroke, offering a reliable and cost-effective way to power the train. The TGV's sleek design minimizes wind resistance, lowering energy consumption. Additionally, the articulated design allowed for a high passenger capacity per train, further optimizing resource utilization. The spacious interiors offered ample legroom and generous seating, making long journeys a breeze. 
Large windows provided panoramic views of the French countryside, enhancing the travel experience. Advanced noise reduction technologies ensured a peaceful journey, allowing passengers to work, relax, or simply enjoy the scenery. The success of the TGV had a ripple effect on France's transportation landscape. Domestic air travel on routes served by the TGV witnessed a significant decline. Travelers found the TGV a more convenient, environmentally friendly, and often more affordable option. Additionally, the TGV revitalized public interest in rail travel. Seeing the sleek trains glide past stations and across the countryside rekindled the romance and excitement of train travel. TGV makes history. During the inauguration of a new TGV line in 2001, a single train completed a long-distance run between Calais and Marseille in a record-breaking 3 hours and 29 minutes. That translates to an average speed of 306 km per hour, making it nearly as fast as a plane. By 2003, the TGV network had welcomed its 1 billionth passenger, a testament to its popularity and efficiency. While it may not match the Shinkansen bullet train's 5 billion passengers by 2000, it's still a staggering number. Also in 2006, Eurostar, which is a type of TGV, took the title for the longest non-stop high-speed international journey. It whisked celebrities from London to Cannes, a whopping 1,421 kilometers. in just 7 hours and 25 minutes, averaging 192 kilometers per hour. These facts paint a picture of a TGV that's not just about getting you from point A to point B, it's about speed, innovation, and revolutionizing the way we travel. The TGV has become a symbol of French national pride. Its sleek design, cutting-edge technology, and reliable service are sources of national identity and technological prowess. The TGV project showcased France's commitment to innovation and its ability to compete on a global stage in the realm of high-speed rail technology. Fast forward to 2007, when the TGV etched its name in history by achieving a record speed of 574 km per hour. This solidified its position as the world's fastest train for several years. While newer trains may have surpassed this record, pursuing ever-increasing speed isn't the sole focus. The TGV's legacy extends beyond raw speed. It's about efficiency, reliability, and creating a sustainable mode of transportation. The TGV network continues to expand, with new lines connecting major European cities. This expansion benefits travelers, fosters international cooperation, and facilitates cross-border travel. The future of the TGV network may even involve integration with other high-speed rail systems across Europe, creating a seamless and efficient network for long-distance travel. Will there be a project that could surpass the limit speed of the French TGV train? Feel free to air your opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on our upcoming videos.